Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we have a beautiful example. In the foreground we have a carob, fig and a carob. And in the background we have four holm oaks. Now the big holm oaks we don't water. But the carob, the fig and the carob we have to water or else they die. Now this is the quest on this farm to have water in the soil so that eventually we can be free from having to irrigate these plants. What is it Carter? What is it? Huh? You want some food? Yeah. One of the success stories is that this creek had more water the last year than all the years before. We, this is the fourth summer we are here and uh, the first time the creek was flowing well. As I say, this occasional creek, we had an experiment. The seepage of the canat system comes out here, but a little bit higher up we planted a fig and we thought maybe it can infiltrate some moisture here at the bed of the creek because there's lots of sand here. Higher up we also have leaky weirs. But it started to lose all its leaves. It does get afternoon direct sunlight and now I started watering it and it's getting its leaves back. What do I have to learn? It is not moist or its roots has not reached it or I should plant some of these fig trees lower where the seepage of the Kanat Moorish water system happened. There might be more moisture here. So I want to fill up this hole here. Stones and see if I can perhaps plant a fig tree here and learn from it. Our Mediterranean climate hosts a uh, bimodal climate system, meaning that twice a year there's opportunity for growth and twice a year there is forced pause, rest phases. Our cling peaches are doing well. I'm so happy with them. So nice to come in the morning, pick up one from the ground and enjoy pure, pure taste. Something you can't buy in a local store. The dream is that even these trees will be able to look after themselves one day if this water system develops and if the water table develops starts supplying these trees with water. So these Quercus species, the home oak 
the cork oak, the kichigo, and then even the uh, asabuche, the wild olive, and then obviously the olives, they make use of this time to ripen their fruit. And that is what is needed, or else you are not successful as a plant. We removed some of these berries we had next to the creek, thinking that they will do better in this area, but alas, look at the dried fruit. This is not successful. This doesn't mean much for the plant. It cannot reproduce itself. And for us, we come and look for fruit and there's nothing. But here is the home, uh, the cork oak. We're under this beautiful cork oak tree. And hopefully our canal that carries water has something to do with this rapid um, germination of this cork oak plants, saplings. So we don't water them and they survive. And the things we do water, they don't survive. A lot of these locusts are now destroying the little green we have. This is their time. So another berry. A lot of dried fruit before a seed was formed. What are you smelling, Luna? And he decided to try again. Now it has decided now three times to try again. One day it will give up. A lot of saplings from the cork oak. That's why we have also decided to plant more seeds of the trees, the fruit trees that do grow well, like this cling peach. I mean the citrus is not happy. We are learning. This year, we take a little bit slow with projects. We have to decide which way we go the coming year, now that spring is upon us, and this is one of the growth spurts of our Mediterranean climate. And so far the idea is to get as many as possible seeds in the ground during October, November, December, January and then see what happens. A few things do grow well here in the shade like our gem squashes and I'm still surprised by these long ones. Amazing. They're usually round like this, extremely hard. It's almost like a coconut. I use a saw to open it. So lots of seeds will be saved and then planted next spring. Hot days, beautiful evenings, 
not tropical nights. It's below 20 degrees Celsius at night, so one can sleep. Till next time, goodbye.